Kitchen. Got anything for those uh, bright ass colors Moses wearing? <laughs> Clown had sex with an aquarium. <laughs> There's a divide in the jiu-jitsu community where half of the jiu-jitsu community says half guard is a bad place to be and you want to avoid that. Half of the jiu-jitsu community says half guard is a good place to be and it's where you want to go, okay? And they're both right. It just depends on what, where you're at in half guard. There's a lot of different types of half guard that can determine if it's a good half guard or a bad half guard. Technically, a reverse de la Hiva is half guard. Does that make sense? Because I'm, I've got one leg trapped with my legs. So, come here Wes. Like any time, he's like, let's say he's down on his knees. Like if I'm in any kind of position where I've got one leg trapped or he stands up, this is half guard. Technically speaking, this is half guard, okay? Stand up. This is half guard. There's a lot of different types. We're gonna be kind of like focusing in on knee shield today. I really like knee shield. I don't play a lot of like standing half guard stuff as much as I probably should be a half guard player. I like, you know, the down stuff. Coming from MMA, like it, there's, it's just more, there's just more there. We're gonna to talk today about getting from cross face underhook half guard to knee shield half guard. So cross face underhook half guard, it's probably the worst type of half guard I can be in. Yes, I have a leg locked in. He has an underhook. He has a cross face. He's making my life very difficult here. This is not where I want to be. So we're going to try to get to a better form of half guard. Yes, you can just try to strip out, back out the guard. That's not what we're doing today. Today, we're going to work on getting to a better type of half guard. Because you have people like me, and if, you, if you're a higher, like, like Mosley especially. Like, I almost never want to be in guard with Mosley. So like, I'll go from here, and I never shrimp back out to full guard usually. I shrimp back out to knee shield, okay? It's just, because he's, my legs don't wrap around his big ass, right? So, I'm gonna start handing the hip, and I wanna be here, in front, grabbing sort of right here to scapula, his shoulder area. If his head's too tight, I may need to open with a bridge. So a big bridge motion, boom. Now I've got my arm in. Now I can, I've got a little bit of space, Hold it kind of tight. My foot's gonna come out on this side. I'm gonna shrimp my hips away, and my shin is going into a low, like a Z guard position. This is, there's a difference between Z. I'm always like, I've seen him do this before. There's a difference between Z guard and knee shield. Okay? From here though, my leg's gonna do a push pull motion. My leg's gonna, this top leg's gonna push away. This bottom leg's gonna pull to me here. Hold it, try to hold it. Them up. Okay, then this hand's gonna come to the inside. I'm gonna get inside control. So I'm staying on the shoulder. Now I want to be bicep or wrist, depending on whatever he gives me. If he's sitting there holding, I'm going bicep. Now my knee comes up. This elbow is gonna go to the inside. Okay, so now my knee's up here in his shoulder. It's gonna keep him from smashing down on top of me. Okay, this arm comes around and it reinforces this leg and I'm gripping. This hand stays on either bicep or wrist. Bottom foot is hooking the back of his calf muscle. Okay, I'm not just here being lazy. Bottom foot's hooking here. It's not like your mom hooking, just like down. <laughs> Dang. Uh, all right, circle back. Like three people got that maybe? All right, we're starting at half guard. I want to frame here. And I want to frame in front of the face. If I can't get a frame in front of the face, I'm bridging, getting to the inside here. We can settle from there. Now, my foot's gonna come out. I'm gonna shrimp away, but I'm keeping this bottom hook. So as I go from here to here, my toes are still hooking the back of his leg here. I don't want him to pass. My bottom knee goes in for a low knee shield, and now I'm gonna do my push pull. Boom, here. This hand's where I want it. Bringing my knee up. This let, elbow goes here, not here, but here. You want your elbow to support the knee. Uh, you'll find this hip, hip abductor here. That's an abductor, right? Adductor, whatever. I can never get those two. 
straight. It's going to get really tired in this position as you pull this leg out. Okay? This little elbow right here helps save that a lot. Okay? So this is my position, just like this. Foot up on the back, elbow on the inside. Anybody see that again? Now, another little nuance I'm going to show, I'm going to show. You finally see it again because you're laying back there. You can't see shit. Come up closer, man. <laughs> you're laying on your back. You're on the side of the mat. You don't see shit. Come on. Come on. This hand right here. Come on. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to sit up. My hand's going to go in while my knee shield is still there. Okay? Knee shield is still there. Then the leg kicks out. Okay? From here, my butt wants to scoot away, and I'm going to lift him because I want to make sure that we're in line with each other. I don't want him crossing to over here. That's going to mess everything up. I need to make sure we're in line. So the moment I get to this position, I'm looking for his hip, I'm shucking, and I'm trying to make sure I'm in line with him. I don't want to be under him. Na 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 na. Wait till I get my jujitsu right. <laughs> Somebody grab the man child. I'll grab the woman. Let's do jujitsu together. Jujitsu. Jujitsu. Ooh, my knee burns. Feels wiggly.